Uh, go. No, wait. There comes a time when the best of us all have to face the sheer reality that not everyone is gonna like what you like. Yeah, I joined Team Instinct. Idiot! Yeah, I'm collecting every Wii game. Idiot! And yeah, I like the Wii U. F idiot! But I've gotta draw a line somewhere. Hi everyone, I'm Todd or Tales of Taylor for Long, and today I have compiled a list of the top five worst Wii U games ever. Now of course these are my opinions, so don't worry if I hate on a game that you don't like, then I, uh, it's my opinion, so... Good. But I would like to know some of the games that you hate on the Wii U, and you can tell me down below in the comments. Just, just let me know, what, what, do you, what do you hate on the Wii U? You, you, you hate some stuff? For this list, I've compiled three rules that, that I need to follow while, while doing this, all right? First off, there's gonna be no Wii U eShop games because th that would, th then I would basically have to make like a top 100 or, or something like that because there's, there's some terrible games on the Wii U eShop. And second, there will be no games that are on other systems. These games are exclusive to Wii U. And lastly, for every game on this list, we're gonna say one positive thing about each game because we like to look at the bright side of things. We like, to, we like to look at the positive sides of these things. There's gotta be one one, there's gotta be like one or two good things about these games, right? You know, you gotta have a good time. All right, let's go down to the list. Number five. All right, Hello Kitty Cruisers. I've played this game for several hours, unlocked many characters and many cars and boats. Here's the game. You choose a character. Imagine Mario Kart or the donkey one, but not good. Here's a race. You get the gist. There's three laps, there's items to use, there's characters to choose from. You know, it's, it's basic, simple, uh, me it's racing. But the one positive thing I will say about this game is that I actually had a good time playing it. I had, I had genuine fun. It was one of those games that was just so bad it was good. Okay. All right, number four. 30 great games. G great games. They should be great, right? All right, so kind of think of this as like Mario Party, but there's no board and the mini games are just all all bad and, and everything is awful. That's this game. Biggest concern with this one is that there's some games that are exclusive to the Wii U gamepad and there's also games where you use your Wii mode, but it never tells you when to switch between either one. There's no screen that indicates, hey, look down at your Wii U gamepad. Hey, pick up your Wii remote and start pointing it at the screen. There's times where you can start the game with the gamepad, but you have to use the Wii Motes and do certain things to get to the next menu. Like choosing your character in Oh My Lanta, speaking of characters. They have nicknames that Pedal Bear over here says during the match and the names are just, just terrible. Oh, Johan. Hey, you know what? You know what? At least the music isn't half bad on this one. That's a positive thing I'm gonna say about this one. Cause just, just listen to this, this menu music. Family party, 30 great games. Number three. Watch out. All right, yeah, I'm sure like all of you expected this game to be on this list, which is totally fine. What can I say that has not been said about this game already? I don't know. But here's a hot, fat, beautiful fact for you. I played through this game entirely and beat it. Look, look at that. Look at this. Look at this. Why do I have this? Where'd I get the, out of a dumpster, probably? One of my biggest concerns with this game is that there's a village that you can get to, right? Hey, this is an island. There's a town over there. Let's go explore it. In this village, it seems like there should be NPCs, there should be other characters that you can run around and talk to, because during cutscenes, it shows the village is, there's people there, there's people doing things in the cutscenes, but when you're in the game, there's nothing there. How? How could they, why? Why didn't they just delay the game? I, they, why has it, why couldn't Sega have just learned? Just delay the game. I feel like it maybe might've had some potential. I mean, besides the, you know, the way Knuckles looks, 
And what? Why did they color Sonic's? This whole game, this whole thing, the whole Sonic Boom thing, them trying something new, I respect it. I respect them trying something new and fresh on the series, but holy crap, just don't. Just don't do it. Oh, you know what else I hated in this game? Shadow. He literally has no role in this entire game. You see him, you fight, you freaking kick him into some time hole, and then at the end, after you beat the boss, he comes out of the time hole that you kicked him into at the beginning of the game. And then he just looks at you and just nods his head and just just walks off. And that's, that's Shadow. That's his whole role in the game. Not bad. <sighs> okay, but the one thing I will give this game is that some of the cutscenes genuinely made me laugh. I actually, I actually chuckled a bit at some of the cutscenes and some of the wacky things that were happening. Just because this game is obviously not complete, there were some random mishaps happening through my playthrough, so it was, it was pretty funny. So that, I'll, I'll give them that. If, if the game can make me laugh, then uh, good, good job. Number two. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's developed by the almost always awful Ubisoft. And it's, and it's called ESPN Sports Connection. It's ESPN and Ubisoft. Both those things are not, they're not good. All right, I'm gonna start off by saying I'm a little biased here because I don't like sports games. Now, don't get me wrong, if sports games are done correctly, then they can be really fun. But ESPN Sports Connection doesn't deliver anything new. The best part about this game was the racing. The racing was actually very fluid, very, it was, it was just really good. Like, it felt good turning and, and controlling the car. Other than that, I just didn't have fun playing the game. And that's that's why it's in, that's why it's on the list because it's not a good one. The one slightly good thing I'll say about this game is that there's a kind of a character customization to it. I felt like if I made this one first, it would be way too obvious because this game is so terrible. But there's a reason why number one is one, and yes, there is a game worse than this one, and here it is. Number one. Yeah, just let me know when this thing is rolling. Oh, it's go- we're on? <clears throat> this is a story about the laziest kid I know. You, Riley, my best friend. Game Party Champions. I didn't know what I was expecting getting into this game. Not at all. But I started it, and there's a story mode. Yes, there's a story mode for a game called Game Party Champions. And guess what? In this story mode, your father died when you were nine. I know, I'm a jerk. That's on file already, but look, all we ever do every day is just sit around and talk about what we're going to do. And hey, you know what? I know it was tough growing up without a dad. Why did this even need to be said? They've been friends for a while, they're childhood friends, so obviously we've already talked about this. But I get it, I get it, it's the convenience of a story plot, I understand. But in a game called Game Party Champions, it just doesn't feel right. Here's the story, your name is Riley, you're a super lazy kid. Probably because you grew up without a father because he died when you were nine and your best friend forcefully enters you into an arcade tournament So you can win because it's your last summer together before college. You know, there's some things that I can completely understand here I love the aspect of like all we ever do is just talk about things and we don't actually go out and do them I like that because that's what some of my friends and I do we we want to go out and do stuff And we sometimes have to force each other out of the house, but the story just doesn't fit in a game called Game Party Champions. And if the story wasn't bad enough, all of the games are mini games of sports games. It's bad enough if you're a game about sports games, but it's even worse when you're a game about mini games about sports games. Now again, don't get me wrong, some sports games can be really fun. Some games with only mini games can be really, really fun, done correctly, but this game does them all wrong. The whole game is just mini game after mini game after mini game, and each mini game you have to play five times in the story mode. Yeah, air hockey in real life is pretty fun, but this one, it's so freaking laggy. I can't, I just can't get the, I can't get it right. Oh, oh, and then get this, I actually lost the data that I got for recording the first two hours of this thing, so I had to re-record it again and play the game again for another two hours. And that's why my I, my character is a, a girl, because I, I made a guy character and they all look kind of douchey, and then the girl was, I was like, you know, hey, you know, I may as well try out the girl. It might change my experience, but it didn't change my experience. It, it was just really bad. Hey, you remember the first time we came here? How old were we, nine? We just met, if I remember. Your mom had taken you here right after your dad passed. Ah, oh, 
Jeez. Okay, but the one good thing I will give this game is that I guess it gave me kind of a, a 90s vibe to it, which was kind of cool. Well, I did it. I played the worst of the worst physical Wii U games. I did it. I think the only one I can ever see me actually playing again is probably Hello Kitty, the racing game. Because that, it was, you know, I mean, if, if I have like some friends over or something, you know, why not? Hey, 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 you want to play some Hello Kitty with me? You know, it's, would I ever do that? Anyways, have you guys played any of the games on this list? Have you? Because if you have, please let me know down in the comments. I want to know your opinion about these games. If you did, in fact, like them, please let me know. Just remember, these are my opinions, of course. I did, I, I played these games a lot to try and get a good feel for all of them. There's probably a lot more bad Wii U games out there, and I won't even try and dip my toes in the Wii U eShop games because that just sounds awful. I mean, tr trust me, I'm the guy that's trying to collect every Wii game, you know, so, you know, I got like 500 something down here and I, I don't think that should be something I should publicly say. Anyways, guys, have a good and smile for no reason. Hey, did you like this video? Well, okay. Well, you can do it if you want. Like this video and tell your pals and say, hey, this guy made a, a kind of a good one. And if you haven't checked out my other stuff, you can totally do that right here. Thank you. Also, subscribe!